I want to say so. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, wait. The, the game isn't showing. Of course it's not. There it is. Okay, 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 okay. Let's also lower these. Alright, new game. Before experiencing the test hypothesis rising, it is highly recommended that you've played its prequel, The Test, first before venturing into this experience. Also, what is with this font? Why did you think that Chiller would be the 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 best font to use this you will stand to gain a lot more from this experience if you've played the test first and this examination will also make a bit more sense as it carries on from here uh from where the last examination left off i would like to urge you to go and play the test now before venturing for oh my god yes i already played it would you like to close this game now so you can have the opportunity to play the test first you will not get a chance to exit the game until your experience is over if you choose to continue now. I already played the test. Wonderful news, we can continue. Oh. Oh shit. This one has like a whole... Like... Like artwork. It's beautiful. Hello, and welcome to my office. It's truly a pleasure to see you here today. Kinda looks like Kanbei from Pokemon Conquest. Please excuse the mess. I haven't had the chance to clean up yet. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time with blibber blabber and nonsensical speak, so I'll just get straight to the point. Sometimes, we have to ask ourselves life's tough questions there's one question in particular i'd like to i'd like for you to ask yourself are you happy and when i say happy is this i thought the stream was lagging i guess not and when i say happy i don't mean content being content is great but it's not the same as being happy I want to help you. I want to in oh for fuck's sake. I want to inspire you to be the best that you can be. I want to inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. I want to see you grow inside and out. I feel like by grow inside and out, I feel like you mean Literally take my organs inside out. <laughs> I mean, the room looks like it. Now, how do we accomplish this, you might be asking? Good question. Allow me to explain. I am going to ask you a series of questions and you are going to answer them with 100% entire honesty. And when I say 100% entire honesty, I mean 100% entire honesty honesty think about it do you want you do want to be happy don't you mm, it's a bit late for that you wouldn't want to do something so bold as to tempt fate by lying would you just remember if you lie the only person you're lying to is yourself the only person who will suffer from this is you and believe me you will suffer. Not to mention, the fact that whether you tell the truth or not, I'll know. But that's another story. Let's be moving on, shall we? We've wasted enough time explaining what we're going to be doing. Just remember, we all want to be good people. We all want to give the answers that we feel lend the most desirable human traits within ourselves. God, this font is making it so hard to read. But sometimes, good people do bad things. And sometimes, 
We don't always have desirable traits as humans. I cannot express enough just how important it is to be truly honest while answering these questions, no matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now, it's time to get into the real meat of this experience. It's time for you to get the advice that you deserve. As you read questions and scenarios during this process, I want you to create your own circumstances and build your own bridges to arrive at the answer that best suits your own psyche. If you've never experienced a scenario being asked of you, then simply imagine, imagine that you have and try to assume that you might feel what you might how you might feel in that situation. I'd like to invite you to pour a glass of water, sit back, and relax as we unfold your fate and the secret to overcoming the next hurdle in your life. We're going to start with some basic easy questions. And here we go. If you answer these questions twice, your advice your advice may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about many different variables. Many different factors are at play here, including the amount of time taken to answer propo proposed questions. With that being said, it's far more important to actually take your time and think about how honest of an answer sir you're giving before you give it whatever you do do not rush the process time is your best friend here you'll see what I mean soon enough do you feel uncomfortable right now no are you nervous no do you feel cold I mean my hands are cold but I think that's the temperature and I don't really suffer the cold so no do you feel sad 100% of the time all day every day 24-7 uh, have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting even though they didn't deserve it I think I did unfortunately again it's not something I do intentionally do you crave acceptance by others? Do I? Do I crave acceptance but by others? Sure. Have you ever lost a loved one? Of course. Do you know what heartbreak feels like? Yes. Do you believe in demons? No. Hmm. Do you believe in curses? No. Would you consider yourself to be spiritual? No. Are you afraid of dying alone? No. If there was an undeniable proof that a ghost was haunting you, would you continue to live in your home? Yes, because there ain't much else I can do, honestly. It's not like I can just move house, I really just can't. Have you ever seen an object mysteriously move without being touched? I don't think so. Do you believe that it's possible for a game to summon supernatural forces into your life without you knowing it? Mm, no. Would you like to make more friends? Honestly, yes, but it's a bit too late for that. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? Uh, as it... Apparently, yes. Do you feel lonely? Mm, yeah. Talk to me. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you make friends easily? Uh, online, yes. Like, I, I have a few, like... I have a few, like, VTuber friends. Do I make friends easily, like in real life? No. Uh, 
I'm gonna say no. Do you tend to avoid drama when where possible? Yes. Though, it's also a bit too late to say that. <laughs> Have you ever had a near-death experience? Uh, yes, yes. One time, I got so drunk that, like, I, in my own sleep, I choked on my own vomit and almost died. And, like, they found me, like, just dying in my sleep. And, like, <laughs> I woke, like, I don't even, like, know what happened, like, while I was asleep. Like, I just know I woke up. For my, uh, I was having a hangover. I smelled like vomit, and there was just like two towels like under me. Do you like horror movies? Yes. This is all very interesting. Have you ever played the test? Yes. That's the spirit. Have you ever played the horoscope? No. Give it a whack. Give it a whack. I'm totally not biased or anything. <laughs> is it another... Is it another uh, game by the same developer, I'm guessing? <laughs> do you watch porn? I might do. Would you consider yourself to be a hard worker? Uh... No. Do you have a low opinion of yourself? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a confident person? I... I did not mean... I, I don't know what I just clicked on. I don't know. I, I will, I'm not. Fuck. Would you help an old lady cross the street if you were running late for an appointment? No. Would you kill all of your neighbor's pets just to save one of your own? Would I... I don't want to kill any... Uh, but if it's to save my own, yeah. Have you ever tried to smother yourself with a pillow to see if you could actually suffocate yourself? Yeah. Have you ever been caught dancing when you thought no one was watching? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever tried to roll your eyes back so far just to see if they'd really get stuck? Yeah. Have you ever played a pl practical joke that you regret pulling on someone? Yeah. Are you streaming live right now? Oh my god, chat, he knows. Yes. Well, hello there, audience. Are you recording this gameplay session right now? Uh... I mean, the VOD is being saved. I'm not recording, I guess technically, yeah, I would say, yeah, technically live, like, is being recorded anyway. If I told you that I was watching you play this game right now, would you believe me? Hey, yo, come, come on, chat is open, mate. Uh, I won't, but, hey, you can prove me wrong anytime, my guy. If you've left a comment for me at any point in time, I've read your words. Does this bother you? No. And I know I haven't left a comment for you. If you've left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I've paid attention to what you've taken the time to... If you've left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I've paid attention while you've taken the time to write? Um, yeah. Do you understand that no matter what, I appreciate you? What is this test? Uh, no. I really do. Are you afraid of snakes? No, I work with snakes. Do you believe in magic? No. Have you ever... Have you cried in the last month? I tried to, but I failed. No. Do you have a hero? Do I? I might do, I can't really think of one, uh, no. Do you typically learn from your mistakes? I like to think that I do. But I have unfortunately made the same mistake twice. I'll say yes. But I don't 
really know how to answer this. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? No. Would you consider yourself to be lazy? Yes. Do you sometimes find it difficult to stay motivated? Yes. Do you put the needs of others before yourself? No. Would your family and friends describe you as kind? Probably not. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? I... N no. Have you ever been cheated on in a relationship? No. Would you consider yourself to be judgmental? I definitely was in the past. Now... Yeah. I'll say yes, just because I don't really know. I see. Are you a hero to someone else? I don't think so. Do you love animals? Absolutely. Have you ever found a family member on Tinder and wanted to hit them with a super light just to make shit real awkward? No. Yeah. Uh, me neither. <laughs> Do you enjoy drinking alcohol? A little. Are you intoxicated right now? Uh, I don't think I'm fully drunk, but I, I... This is my third beer. I'll say yes. Well, I guess that makes two of us. Do you like the phrase sneaky snake? Yeah. Are these questions a bit strange to you? Yeah. Do you have a vivid imagination? Yeah. Uh, do you feel uncomfortable in large social settings? Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be antisocial? Absolutely. Do you hold a grunge or a a grunge a grudge for long periods of time? Yes. Have you ever urinated in public? Yes. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Fuck no. Would you consider yourself to be selfish? You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you've got a big ego? Uh, I don't think I have a big ego. Would you consider yourself kinky? Sure. Have you ever masturbated into a fishbowl? No. Well, then you can't be that kinky. <laughs> you know what? Fair. Would you consider yourself to be religious? No. Would you consider yourself to be temperamental? I gotta look up what the fuck that even means. Temperamental. Uh, liable to unreasonable changes of mood. Liable to unreasonable changes of mood. I... I guess so. Um, yeah. If you had to kill someone to save your own life, but you knew they didn't deserve it, would you do it? I mean, I don't want to save my own life, but like, yeah. Interesting. Would you sacrifice your own life for a complete stranger? For a complete stranger? No. Even more interesting. 
Have you ever been inside of a burning building? Uh, no. Have you ever been to a funeral? I don't think I have. Not that I remember. Uh, no. If you could attend your own funeral before you died, would you take the opportunity to do so? <laughs> I'll shit on my own grave. Um... I mean... Would I? No. You could see into the future, but you were told that it would only reveal the absolute worst of what's in store for you. Would you still look? Yeah. If you had the power to stop time, would you use it to do something you know you shouldn't do? Oh, yeah. Like, if I could stop time, I would do all the worst things. You had the power to remove one person from Earth, never to return again. Would you use it? Uh, yeah. If I told you that I understand you better than you understand yourself, would you believe me? Mm, yeah, because I don't understand myself in the slightest. If someone threatened to kill you, would your first response be to react with violence yeah well maybe not maybe i'll just say do it and then and then like if like they hmm that might not have been accurate if a stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction would you forgive them if they apologize to you no if a family member said something nasty about you behind your back, would you confront would you confront them about it directly? Yeah. If you had to eat raw squirrel brains for three days to stay alive, would you do it? No. You woke up tomorrow and none of your family remembered who you were. Would you choose to leave and start a new life? Mm, yeah. If a homeless man was clearly sick, freezing and utterly miserable in the rain, would you be willing to give him your clothes and walk home naked? No. If someone accidentally hit you in their car but you suffered no injuries whatsoever, would you still be upset with them? I mean, that depends. Did they do it on purpose? Hmm, yeah. Have you... Looked for any hidden meanings or messages with messages within these questions? No. Maybe you should have been. Are you wondering if there's a deeper meaning to all of this other than just simply answering question after question? Mm, yeah. Miracles happen every day. Do you agree? Not to me. Umbrellas aren't worth lugging around and you don't mind getting rained on. Do you agree? No, I have an umbrella. Like, oh, I always have an umbrella handy in my bag. Because... <laughs> <'Cause... laughs> like, here in the UK, it, like, it rains like... Like every, every other day. And. Uh, like, as someone who has long hair, like, drying it is an absolute pain. So. No. Red is a prettier color than pink. Do you agree? Yes. Do you ever feel like a plastic. <laughs> really? Really, dude? Really? Really now? Dude. Dude. Boy. Boy. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag blowing in the wind? I don't even know what to say to that. Yes? 
Eating in front of people can be awkward. Do you agree? Yeah. Rings used as a ceremonial ceremonial wedding gift are so outdated. Do you agree? Uh I don't care. Uh no. Did you realize that the first letter of the last six question when questions when combined spell out the words murder I didn't do you know why that is no does that make you slightly uncomfortable no are you going to start paying closer attention to what you may have got yourself into probably not do you realize it's too late to turn back down do you hear someone in your room No, I, I think I clicked yes. I was meant to click no. Fuck. Do you see shadows closing in? No. Do you feel like you're being watched? No. Did you look around your room a moment ago? No, I did. I actually, I did for the last one, but I, I kind of, like, like for the last game, I did look around my room a lot, but now I like. Like, I just kind of listened just now. I didn't really look, no. Uh, do you like long walks on the beach? N no. Do you enjoy giving gifts to people? Fuck no. Have you ever felt like giving up on life? Yes. Do you love your family more than you love yourself? No. Do you have a best friend who's clearly better than the rest of your friends? Yeah. Do you think there's some kind of conspiracy behind the coronavirus? Oh yeah, it, it, it is. This is that recent, huh? <laughs> like I never, I, I just realized like this game was made in 2020. Uh, I don't think there's any conspiracy now. Do you believe that you're human? Yes. If you could turn invisible. But you can never be visible ever again once you decide to use your power for the first time. Would you ever use it? I'm already invisible, so yeah. If you knew someone was about to rob a convenience store, but you knew that they were doing it to feed their family, would you stop them? No. Because if someone's robbing a convenience store, that's not my problem. If you were stranded on a remote island with a stranger, and you were both starving to death, but you found a secret stash of food that they didn't know about, would you share with them? No. If you could turn yourself into an eagle for one year, but you wouldn't be able to turn back into a person until that one year has passed, would you do it? Yeah. If you had the opportunity to earn riches beyond your wildest dreams by fighting a grizzly bear to the death, Using nothing but a machete and an army helmet. Would you do it? Yeah. If you had to pick one basic food item to eat exclusively for an entire year, would you choose potatoes? Would I? No. If pizza screamed in agony every time you bit into a piece. Would you still continue to eat pizza? Absolutely. I'm Italian. What do you expect? If your best friend got... Uh, if, the, if your best friend got bit in the genitals by a highly venomous snake and the only way to save their life was to suck the venom out of their genitals, would you do it to save them? No. <laughs> it's nice knowing you, buddy. Was that question difficult to answer? No, I answered pretty much instantly. Do you feel mortal? Yeah. Do you enjoy loud music? I got that question last time. No. Fuck's sake. Do you feel awkward when you dance in front of others? I don't dance in front of others, period, but yeah. 
Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? I assume so. Do you ever feel depressed every day? You're not alone. Lies. Do you feel relaxed? No. Do you think you have a guardian angel watching over you? No. Do you ever hear your name being called when no one could have called it? Yes. I'm going to take special note of that one. Do you always lock do you always look both ways before crossing the road? I mean I jaywalk a lot, if I'm being completely honest. Do you wash your hands every day? Yes. Do you feel uncomfortable using public restrooms? A little, but sometimes I just kinda have to. Is winter your favorite season? Yes. Do you know anyone named Josh? Um, I did know a Josh, but I don't currently know a Josh. Mm, I'm going to say yes. I did know a Josh before. Are you wondering why that last question is relevant? Yeah. Are you allergic to any animals? No. Have you ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? No. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be artistic? No. Would you consider yourself to be dominant in day-to-day -day life? No. Do you feel that you've got too much time on your hands? Yeah. Can you be easily intimidated by others? No. Are you easily excitable? Uh... Yes? Question mark? Do you enjoy solving complex problems? Sometimes. Unless it's maths, then no, but... Sometimes a good puzzle is a good puzzle. Do you have a difficult time relaxing? On occasion, yes. Would you consider yourself to be high maintenance? Mm, hold on. Uh, demanding a lot of attention. No. Do you trust easily? It depends. I mean, if it's someone that I have no reason to not trust, then... Yes. But, like... If it's someone that, like, const that, like, lied to me before, or, like... Or, like... You know, I have like, like, you know, it's kind of sketchy or something like that, then no. But like, if I have no reason to not trust someone, then yeah. Would you consider yourself to be an honest person? No. Like, I don't lie like often but i'm also not really honest if i'm being completely honest well well i was honest like when i said i i didn't even mean to have you ever told a lie yes have you ever lied to your best friend yes have you ever lied to your family yes have you ever lied Wait, have you lied about any answer during this session? I... I tried... This, I did try to answer completely honestly. I may have misclicked. I think I might have misclicked, actually. Should I say yes, just because I misclicked? I feel like I misclicked a few times. Uh... 
I want to say yes just because I misclicked. I'm going to I'm going to say yes. Are you wondering why all these questions have to do with lying? Yes. This is all very useful information. Are you a people pleaser? No. Do you enjoy being the center of attention? No. Do you feel like you've got a good sense of humor? I like to think. Do you frighten easily? No. Was that supposed to scare me? Well, that was odd. I wonder what that was about. That's probably a good... That's probably a pretty good place for us to stop this simple segment of our questionnaire. Uh, and move on to the more gritty questions. This next set of questions will not be yes or no answers. The next portion of our session will be filled with various scenarios that you put smack dab in the middle of vital choice making. Uh-huh. We'll see how well you handle your options as you delve deep into each scenario. Remember the key to all of this is to answer honestly, if I don't misclick. Let's get started. You're home alone. It's dark and it's storming outside. All of a the sudden, there's a knock on your bedroom door. There's someone in your house. What do you do? Grab the closet. Oh wait, grab the closest item that can be used as a weapon. Ignore the knocking and hope it goes away. Ask who is it and wait. Boldly open the door to reveal what's on the other side. Uh, it's dark, it's storming outside, all of a sudden there's a knock on your bedroom door. Okay, so it's not the house door, it's the bedroom door. Grab the closest item that can be used as a weapon. Very interesting choice. You meet a homeless woman on the street. She asks you for money. You find it within yourself to give her all the spare change you have. Just as you do, a homeless man approaches as asking if you can spare some change. What do you do? Uh, tell the man you've got no change left to off offer. Uh, tell the homeless woman to share with the man. Tell the homeless man to ask the woman for some of her change. Uh, tell the homeless man that you'll get some more from somewhere. Wait, tell the homeless man that you'll get some more from No, 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 no. Um, I no change left to offer. Really now. Both your mother and your father fall incredibly ill to a life-threatening disease, and there's only enough medicine, medicines and facilities to save one of your parents. And time is of essence. What do you do? Uh, give medical treatment to my father so he lives. Give medical treatment to my mother so she lives. Split the medication between the two, even though both may die. I'd save the medical treatment for myself just in case I get sick. No, I'll give it to my mother. I hate my dad, so he can fuck himself. That doesn't surprise me. Really? Ooh. You find a case of money tucked away inside of a dumpster. Inside, there's 10 solid gold bars and a vial of mysterious liquid. Under the vial, there is a note that says, The cure for cancer. What do you do? Turn the case into a professional entity so they can utilize it. Keep the gold bars, but give away the cure to cancer. Keep the cure to cancer, but give away the gold bars. Uh, keep everything in, in the case for yourself to sell or use. Yeah, that last one. What a wasted opportunity. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't judge. Hey, I mean, you're asking the questions and I mean, like, that's money, all right? That's a, that's millions, maybe billions, all right? You're stuck alone inside of your house. 
and you're starving to death. You've completely run out of food and no one is coming to save you for weeks. The only potential source of food around you is your family pets. What do you do? Kill any of my pets so I can survive. Continue to starve along with my pets. Attempt to cut meat from my pets, then treat their wounds. Let my pets eat me so they can survive. So they can survive until help comes. Yep, that one. I'd rather my pets live than I than I live. Why am I not surprised? Your neighbors. Your neighbor's home is on fire. A blazing inferno among among smoke emits from the windows. You hear screams for help coming from within, but you can't see past the flames. No one is around in sight. What do you do? Call the fire department and keep my distance from the home. Start shouting for help, searching for someone nearby. Run into the build burning home and try to rescue anyone you can. Walk away. There's nothing you can do. Um, yeah, walk away. I like that. And to be fair, like... If, like, if it's my neighbor's home, why do I care? Genuinely, like... <laughs> you're fast asleep in your bed. When, you, when you're awoken by what sounds like a woman's muffled cries from somewhere in your room. You quickly realize it's coming from under your bed. What do you do? Immediately look under the bed, hide under your covers, and wait patiently. Verbally call out and ask who's in your room. Jump out of the red bed and run out of the room immediately. Uh, I'll look under the bed. Hmm. A man in a fancy suit approaches you while you're walking down the street. He pulls a watch from his pocket and hands it to you. He claims that when the watch stops ticking, it marks the moment your time runs out on this earth. What do you do? Take the watch and thank him for the gift. Decline the offer and the offer for the watch and keep walking. Tell him he needs professional help and keep and to keep his distance. Tell him you're you got three of them as a toy in your happy meal. <laughs> I want to go for that one so badly. Um, if I'm I'm answering honestly, so take the watch and thank him for the gift. Would you know? You're sitting at home playing a game on your PC when all of a sudden someone grips and squeezes your shoulder firmly from behind. What do you do? Immediately jump up and turn around, scream and stay still in terror, spin around with a vicious elbow to whoever's behind you. Tell them to squeeze harder so you could use a nice massage. Oh, I want to go for that one. Um, spin around with vicious elbow to whoever's behind you. Huh. You're sitting in the bathtub, trying to relax. When a hand emerges from the water, what do you do? Jump out of the... Uh, bath and run as fast as you can. Kick the hand and try to keep it away from you. Uh, give it a firm handshake. <laughs> Maybe it even has a solid fist bump. Push it on the water and hope you get some free hand action. <laughs> that one. Absolutely. Clever. <laughs> you get out of bed and immediately fall down into a deep dark hole. A man is standing above you, looking down. Telling you to put lotion on your skin while he watches. What do you do? Scream for help. Start slathering yourself in lotion. Tell him you've got very sensitive skin allergies. Ask if you'll come down and apply the lotion. Uh, start slathering lotion. Smart choice. You're sitting at home alone. And all of a sudden your door slams shut. You see it before your very eyes, and you know that no one is home, and it couldn't have been a gust of wind. What do you do? Stay perfectly still and watch the door. Look for a weapon around the room immediately. Jump up and try to climb out the window. Run over the door and open it. Run over the door and open it. I like that. 
Someone you've known for many years but have no attraction to tells you that they've had a massive crash on you for a long time. What do you do? Ask them on a, on a day who knows what might happen. Tell them you're flattered but just not interested. Tell them you feel dating might ruin your friendship. Ask if they want to be friends with benefits. Um... Hmm, I guess we could ask them on a date. Who knows what might happen? Ah, so you're one of those types. Your dog starts randomly barking into the darkest corner of your living room. There doesn't appear to be anything there, but your dog insists on escalating to growls. What do you do? Try to calm your dog down by petting them? Stand and stare at the corner to see if anything moves. Walk up to the corner, extend your hand to feel for anything. Walk out of the room and ignore it entirely. Um, I guess... Try to calm the dog down by petting them. I'm taking note of that. You see a massive spider in your room, the size of your hand. What do you do? Grab something bigger to smash it? No. Well... I guess we're moving out now. <laughs> Burn the entire house down. It's the only way to be safe. Try to capture it alive for science. I just... I just pick it up and throw it outside. What the fuck? Huh. Your closest family member tells you that they're a serial killer. What do you do? Tell, tell them you don't want to know any more details. Turn them into the authorities. Ask them information so you can... Help them stay out of trouble. Try to convince them that they need help. Um, don't want to know any more details. I see. If you found out that you only had one day left to live, what do you do? Tell everyone that I love them and to be happy, not sad. Do something insane and crazy. Anything goes. Not tell anyone at all. Just act as if nothing changed. Spend my time on my own, away from others. Yeah. Alright then. If one of your pets started speaking to you and told you that they've got a dire warning that they were going to die if you didn't let them eat all the ice cream in the freezer, what do you do? Go lay down. I'm obviously way too high for this. <laughs> Yeah, fair. That does sound uh, reasonable. Give them all the ice cream they can handle. Uh, don't give them ice cream. You're not gonna fall for that one. Assure them that you'll protect them and they won't die. Yeah, that one. Oh, lovely. If all of a sudden you could start hearing other people's thoughts and the person next to you was thinking about mugging you and stealing your money, what do you do? Uh, take preemptive action and beat them up first. Tell them you don't think mugging you is a good idea. Get away from them as quickly as possible. Ignore it. Uh, you don't know... You don't know that you weren't just hallucinating. Uh, beat them up first. That sounds reasonable. Your best friend comes to you and tells you that they just accidentally killed someone and they don't want to go to prison. What do you do? Help them hide the body, report them to the authorities, tell them that they're on their own, but you won't rat them out. Try to convince them to turn themselves in. Uh, tell them that they're on their own, but you won't rat them out. Ah. You're dying in your car and you accidentally run somewhere. Oh wait, you're driving in your car. <laughs> <laughs> you're driving in your car and you accidentally run someone over you're pretty sure that you're okay that they're okay but the fact that their head is clearly detached from their body suggests that it's probably just wishful thinking what do you do call your best friends and tell them that you don't want to go to prison <laughs> we're, we're, the, we're our own best friend <laughs> turn yourself into the authorities drive away hope nobody saw what you did Try to hide the body yourself. Drive away and hope nobody saw what you did. I'm watching you. Interesting how that played out. 
I think it's time to move on to the next portion of our test. The following questions that shall be asked of you are would you rather style questions. Imagine you've got a gun to your head and you absolutely must choose an answer. No matter how uncomfortable that may be. Let's get, sh let's get started, shall we? Would you rather be loved by all or feared by all? I'm already feared by all, so... Would you rather never get angry or never get jealous? Never get angry or never... I'd rather never get jealous because... Like, anger is justified in some cases. Jealousy is like a really pointless thing. And it's a sh like, like, unfortunately, like it's part of our brains. We can't really do much about it, but it's just not something that like, I think should be a thing. You know, it's not really something that I don't know if I'm, I'm speaking out of my ass. Would you rather be held in high regard by your parents or by your friends? Uh, well, one of my parents holds me in a high regard, not the other one, but I'd rather my friends hold me in a high regard because I don't know. Family to me is just, it's just not much. I don't know. Would you rather live in space or live under the sea? Um, live in space. Would you rather donate your body to science or donate your organs to people who need them? Uh, to science. Would you rather go to jail for five years for something you didn't do or get away with something horrible you did but always live in fear of being caught? Live in fear of being caught. Would you rather work at a horrible job that you hate but retire comfortably in 10 years from now or would you rather have your dream job but have to work until the day you die hmm Ooh. uh hmm That's a, that's a tough one. I don't really have a dream job though. Hmm. I'll say I'd rather have my dream job forever. Would you rather every shirt you'll ever wear to be somewhat itchy or only be able to use one ply toilet paper? Oh no. Mmm. Itchy shirt. Like, I already feel somewhat itchy. So. Would you rather have skin that changes color depending on your mood? Or have tattoos appear on your body that depict what, you're, what you did yesterday? Um. I mean, tattoos you can cover. I guess, maybe, no, I guess, I guess maybe, like, showing my mood isn't too bad, because you can probably already tell from my ugly-ass face. Sure, color-changing skin. Would you rather shit every time you orgasm, or orgasm every time you see a dog? Uh... Wait, I'll take orgasm shits for 5,000, Alex? <laughs> what is that question? What is that, like, option? Orgasm when I see a dog. Mm. I... Hmm... 
this I know this feels like a no-brainer but it actually kind of isn't because I I don't want to like ah uh, no I guess it is I guess it it is orgasm shits for five thousand Alex yeah because like like at the same time like if I'm like fucking someone like I don't want to shit on the bed like but like I don't know if your partner switched bodies with one of your parents and the only way to get them to switch back was to have sex with one of them would you rather have sex with your partner in your parents body or have sex with your parent in your partner's body what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> no, seriously, what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> we don't even have, like... <laughs> we don't even get the choice. <laughs> we don't even have a choice. It's just, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> just answer the question. Uh, Sex with my parent in my partner's body sex with my partner in my parents body um sex with my parent in my partner's body because then i can just pretend that it's my partner i guess <laughs> uh that one had no bearing on your result i was just curious <laughs> this fucking guy. I think we answered enough of these types of questions. As I'm sure you'd agree. We're going to end the test with a short series of final questions. Giving simple answers. We'll get started now. Out of the following options, which number do you like the most? 7, 11, 3, 49. I guess 7. Add out the following options, which color makes you feel the most relaxed? Uh, black, red, green, blue, uh, green. Out of the following options, which creature uh, are you the least comfortable around? Spiders, snakes, scorpions, dogs? Uh, none of them. I, I'm comfortable with all of them. Uh, but I guess... Uh, we, I don't really get to see scorpions all that much, so I guess scorpions, maybe? Because I I don't have any scorpions at the farm, and there's not any, like, wild scorpions, like, like here in London, so... I guess I, it's the only option that's, like, I can't really say. Out of the following options, which flavor is your favorite? Chocolate, vanilla, peanut butter, mint. Absolutely fucking lovely. Mint, fucking delicious. Out of the following options, which do you personally value the most? Family, friends, money, freedom. Money. Money. Absolutely, money. Out of the following option, which could you most live without? Family, friends, money, freedom. Uh, which could you most live without? Uh... Family. I don't need family. Out of the following options, which statement is the most accurate? I am brave. I am caring. I am smart. I am attractive. Literally none of them. Uh, <laughs> I am brave, I guess. Out of the following options, which one are you most afraid, afraid of? Uh, living forever. Losing my loved one. Dying alone. Dying immediately after this test is finished. <laughs> living forever. That's... I think being immortal is probably a fate worse than death, honestly. We're almost finished, but I've just got one final question for you. God damn it. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> this can't be a fucking coincidence. Have you ever punched a nun? Yes. 
That's the spirit. <laughs> All right, we're done here. I'm through with you. He's so fucking done with my bullshit. I'm just going to calculate your results very carefully. I don't want to miss anything important. Try my absolute hardest not to judge you right now. Trying to keep this as professional as possible. Aha, here we go. Based on what you told me, I've come to a conclusion. This is what I personally believe would be in your best interest to acknowledge, set in motion, and accomplish in order to climb the ladder to happiness in your life. First and foremost, I'd like to start with a blanket statement that everyone truly needs to hear. Something that is taken for granted far more than anything else in life. Something that has such an incredible, unique, irreplaceable value compared to any other thing on this earth. And that, my friends, is the value of time. Ah, that's what you said at the beginning. Time is the most valuable form of currency you will ever hoard in your life. Well, just as Linkin Park says, time is a valuable thing. Watch the cop by as the pendulum swings. You can spend time on anyone, doing anything for any reason. Now the time can be spent, time can be wasted, and time can be taken away. But time can never be refunded, time can never be earned back, and more time can never be gained. Imagine a bank account with all the money you'll ever get to spend in life. Now imagine not knowing how much money is in your account. Imagine going to the store one day to purchase something you really need, and the cashier tells you, I'm sorry, but you cannot afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We only have so much time, and we have no idea just how much or how little we truly have before our bank account runs out dry. And the fact that we get to decide and choose what we spend our time on just shows you how truly special it is when someone spends their time on you. So now that we understand the incredible value of time, I'd like to make a suggestion for you personally on how I, th I think you'd be best spending your time in order to achieve what you need most at this current stage in your life. Let's see here. Alright, listen. You really need to spend more time focusing on doing things for yourself. You've got to start taking into account that you cannot pour uh, from an empty cup. And if people keep wanting your energy, you need to take time to yourself to replenish it. You've got such a big heart and such a bright soul, and because of this, people would benefit greatly from getting to know you, or having more of you. But you need to take twice as much time making yourself happy as you do attempting to make others happy. Otherwise, you're going to let people make you miserable. I'm too late. <laughs> it's, already, it's already the case. It is, not, it is not your responsibility to save the world, but it doesn't mean that you can't save one person at a time. But you need to start by saving yourself, because you're no good to anyone else. Completely drained of all that makes you, you. My advice to you is that you spent a lot of time of your... I say you spent a lot more of your time focusing on things that make you feel relaxed and make you feel happy and less time saying yes to people. That, dem that, demand too that demands too much of your energy. It's okay to be selfish because 
at the end of the day, if you aren't going to take care of you, then who is? I think you'll be very surprised just how much of a positive impact this can have on your life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goals. Your secret word is self-care. Remember this word, it'll come in handy. It was fantasy and self-care. Take the secret words that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of your... If you left your secret word for us on the test of the horoscope, we've read your feedback and... Uh, yeah. Don't be afraid, this is an opportunity, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing. We greatly appreciate your feedback and support. We've read every single review and comment left for us. We love the conspiracy theories behind the greater meaning of all of this. And in the third and final installment of the series, we will find all will finally be revealed. But not a single person has been able to figure out what this entire experiment is all about yet. We look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings as it helps shape what we do as we work on future projects and bring the most emotion out of you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for everything you do, thank you for playing, and thank you for contributing uh, your secret words to our projects. Um... No, I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna actually take a bit of a break. Uh, 